Yo, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make professional looking beat visualizers for your beats. So to start off with, there's like kind of two paths you can take, like photoshopping your own backgrounds and cover arts, or you can just uh, go online and grab like a GIF or something. So I'm going to do the first one first, just because I know that a lot of people don't use Photoshop. So I'm going to go on Google and then go to Giphy.com. And then depending on what kind of beat you made, uh, like pick a GIF that kind of like, I don't know, expresses it. So I'm going to like type in Vaporwave. And then I'm just going to scroll through and I'm going to find one that I like that is uh, a square. Okay, so I found this one that I like, but if I was going to actually post this, I would recommend reaching out to the artist that made it and just asking them, hey, is it okay if I use your stuff? It's just a nice way to make sure that it's okay and not get in any trouble later. But, oh my god, I swear to god, I've done this like three times. But you just go and you'd save it. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop as like example. And then I'm going to go open a new tab and then I'm going to find like just a white 1080p texture. So this one's super simple. It'll work nice and be a nice background. So I'm just going to go save this. So now that I have the two things that I'm going to use here, the, the square, I'm going to use that as like the cover art. And then I'm going to use the white as a texture. I'm going to go back into FL Studio and I'm going to go to the master and I recommend doing this with uh, like not like just a wave file that you put in here like the actual beat that you made so I'm going to go in here I'm going to go to Z, Z game editor I'm going to open that and then we're going to go to add content add a picture scroll down and find your texture so I don't think I actually saved the texture that I just uh, got off the internet. So I'm going to use the one that I made on Photoshop, which I'll show you how to do in a second. But then you got to go to Add Videos to add the GIF because it's moving. And then you want to go to Main and click Image Effects and then go to Image. And then you're going to want to pull up the white texture. But in my case, I didn't save it right, so I'm going to use the one that I Photoshopped. And then I'm going to go to here. And if you want to have like a reactive thing, like uh, I used to use the linear effect and then I would make it smaller so it matched the bottom of the square and then moved it down so it matched and then flipped the polarity so it uh, like the lines come out down. So now when I play the beat, that'll react to it. And if your image is a circle, you can do this one called, I think it's just called polar. Yeah, and that'll be a circle that reacts to the beat. But what I've been doing lately is going into particles and then going to color blobs. Turning down the, sp well, not down all the way, but turning the speed down a little bit and then turning down the sound influence so it doesn't react with the beat. I've just, I kind of like the way that looks, but I know that people want to have like a line that shows like what frequencies are playing in the beat. Now I'm going to go add another layer and I'm going to go back and add another image, but this time I'm going to add the GIF and I'm going to bring it down so it's in the center. And now that I see it, like with the color blobs, I'm actually going to go back and make the color blobs, uh, smaller because this is really bright and I felt like it was kind of like meshing with it too much. Next I'm going to add one more layer and I'm going to go to post processes and do the audio shake so it'll react to the beat and it'll shake with it. So you can see it's super ex extreme so I'm going to turn the amount down and just turn it up just a little bit. Damn that was too much. That's still too much. Like, you just really got it. Like, you really only want, like, the tiniest sliver. So I think, like, that's a good amount. And then I'm going to change it to frequency range. Or sometimes I do normal. Sometimes I do frequency range. You just got to play with it.
And the reason that I said that I would recommend having your actual project file and doing this is because you can go to here and you can pick which mixer track you want it to react to. So I usually do the kick. So if I play the beat, it'll only play when the kick plays, but you can't really see it because... So you can see it's only playing when the kick is playing. And then I always recommend just turning it up to 60 FPS. It'll make the GIF faster, but it'll just make it look better overall. So I lied, and there's actually one more layer we have to add. You're going to go into text, and then text draw. And then you're going to go back to content, back to text, and then type the name of your beat. So I called this one Ren. And then... You're going to go here, and you're going to find a good place for it, which I really should have picked a black background because this won't show up very good, but it'll work enough. And then I'm going to go down here and go to Glitch and Separation, and it'll just make it glitch. It's a cool effect. So yeah, that's how I would make a beat video if I did not have Photoshop or any like editing tools. So now I'm going to show you how... I do it with Photoshop. So I basically, I do the same exact process, but instead of adding that, uh, that GIF, I'd use the same background, but I would use my own cover art that I made. And at the end, I'll show how to make the background, but I'm probably not going to show how to make the cover art, just because I already made a cover art for the beats I'm going to post next. But... I feel like it's more of a personal thing and it's not really good to watch other people do it unless you're getting the fundamentals of Photoshop. So that's what it would look like if I used my own cover art. And if you play the beat, it'll react and it'll just look... Well, actually, I turn off the text because I have the, the title of the beat in the cover art. So now I'll play the beat with the cover art and the color blobs and everything and the audio shake. And then I'll show you how to make the background so you can do it yourself. And if you don't have Photoshop, I recommend getting it. It's like 10 bucks a month. And even if you don't have it, it's a seven day free trial. And you can do the thing where like you cancel the trial on the last day and you just get the trial again. And it's pretty much free. But yeah, it's really cheap and it's completely worth it to for marketing and stuff. <laughs> Well, I guess we're not going to do that because I opened seven things of serum for this beat. Went a little bit overboard. So, <laughs> I'll show you how to make the background now. Alright, so we're in Photoshop and I'm going to open. We'll create a new file, go to 1080p so it fills up the whole screen. And then once we're in here, it's really simple. I'm going to open my uh, textures folder. I've just been collecting random textures that I use. And I found this pack that's Film Dust Textures, and I use this on pretty much everything. It just adds a nice effect to it. So I'm going to go drag this in, and then stretch it so it fills up the whole screen. And then I'm going to go to FX, and I'm going to uh, get a Curves layer going. And then take some of the darks out and boost the, the lights. I don't even know why I'm explaining this like an EQ. It was basically like the same thing, pretty much. But then you're going to click on the layer that you have your grains on. And then find a setting that looks nice. So I kind of like this hard light. And then I'm going to go to fill. And I'm going to turn it down until I get just a little bit of it in. And then I usually like to add just a square so I know where to put the cover art and I know it's uh, centered. So that's a little bit too big, so I'm going to go like here. And then I'm just going to go double click on the layer. And then do a black color overlay just so there's a difference. And then I'm also going to do an outer glow. And I'm going to make that black as well. But i got to figure out these settings real quick. So if you want, you can copy these settings. It looks like that. Here's the settings. And then this is really like the minimum like, like I would make a video out of this but then as you can see in the other one I put a pineapple down in the corner 
just, just has a little bit of branding. branding. So, so you can throw your logo down, down there, or you can just grab something random. I don't even think I have that pineapple image anymore. No, it's right here. So I'll just throw that in the bottom corner and then add some effects to that. But I'm not going to save this because I pretty much just remade what I had. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you guys uh, learn how to make more professional videos for your beats. Because I feel like I see a lot of producers with really amazing beats, but their uh, quality just isn't as great. It doesn't look as professional. And if you want me to do a cover art tutorial, I will do that. Like I know a lot of really simple ones that look very clean. And also, thanks for 100 subs. That's, That's a pretty, pretty cool milestone. milestone. I'm, I'm thinking about, about making a one-shot one kit for if we ever get up to 1K. 1K. So, so yeah, have, have a fantastic day and stay safe. safe.